What's up, Internet? Today, we're going to be signing up for ING's digital bank account, and it promises to have the highest interest rate. And since it's digital, it will not have any physical branches, so no more lining up. No more being behind that one guy who forgot their ATM card or has to chat up the tellers or who basically has to take up your time. No more running to any physical branch. But if they have no physical branches, where do I get my money? How do I contact them if there's something wrong and, you know, I need to update my records or things like that? Is this digital banking thing such a good idea? We're going to sign up and find out. So I've gone ahead and downloaded the ING app. I want to have it on my tablet because I think it will be safer that way compared to if it's on my phone and my phone might get lost and stolen or whatnot. So I haven't run this app before and I don't have an account so we're gonna go through everything like how easy it is to set everything up. And now the app is loading and I guess you have to allow things like this jokes on ING because my tablet does not have a phone number attached to it. Oh, so you can see that there's some text at the bottom. So basically it's the usual register or login and we will register or open an account. And there's the usual stuff. Privacy is a basic human right and at, and at ING we take it very seriously. Okay, and I'm gonna punch in my details here, which we are going to edit out in the video so that I will not get doxxed online or whatever. Kalokohan is uso now. So, your legal name. I have input my legal name, address. Also, things we will censor from the prying eyes of the internet. So name, address, and I need a verification code. So it got sent, the verification code got sent, and I have it now. Sorry for that, I'm using my phone to film my face. <laughs> I had to tilt my head to see the text and what the number was. And it looks like you have a five digit passcode, which I have inputted. Okay, so now they're gonna use the app. Okay, so this is interesting. Apparently, it only accepts three kinds of ID. Driver's license, a passport, or your UMID ID. So let's choose... Pl place your ID on a dark surface. Make sure camera flat. Okay. So I've taken a picture of my driver's license and there are basic editing tools here such as crop. In fairness, the auto crop has pretty much done its work. So far it's been pretty painless actually. Oh, here we go. ID and birth information. So it seems to have accepted my driver's license but you do need to input the actual information which is kind of annoying I thought maybe they would have some OCR or just manually have people looking at your ID and inputting this information but anyway it will expire on my license all the way in 2024 so Going. Oh man, I thought maybe there would be a faster way to do it, but when I clicked on the orange bar, it jumped me back to the current date. When you're trying to shortcut, that's when you actually end up taking a longer time. And so this is annoying, I mean I was born in 1983, so now I gotta scroll all the way back to 83, and there doesn't seem to be any way to jump dates, or you know, jump years. So it's always just by month, which is, you know, you'd think this would be a UI feature that would be kind of obvious to do, 
since you're concerned with dates that are years in advance, not just months in advance or months prior. But we are at 1988. So yes, I was born in 1983. I was born in Manila. Country, Philippines. Oh, see, this is smart. So they already have Philippines top selected. I am Filipino, also top selected. Okay, residential address. Lolly, these are all the kind of things you do not want on the internet. Now it's asking for employment details. As some of our more frequent YouTube viewers might know, um, you know I sort of own, are one of the co-owners of Hardware Sugar, which is the PC shop. But that is not my main business, so to speak. And I am putting that in now. The main business, not Hardware Sugar. Because to be honest guys, Hardware Sugar doesn't make a lot of money right now. Um, all the money we make goes back into buying different components and finding, you know, that hard to... Sourcing hard to find items that the cases and the VR headset and things like that. So, it is not my main source of income. Just in case you're wondering why Hardware Sugar prices are so cheap. I pay my income tax in the Philippines, that is correct. I have a USA, no, I have no connection to the United States of America. Write your signature using dark ink on white paper. Okay. Oh. Okay. I gotta do my signature now. Oh. Man, I took a picture of my I took a picture of my signature and then the app crashed let's see if we can get it back oh, okay at least it seems to remember that I was in the middle of something so we don't need to do the entire thing all over again which is smart good for you ING Asking for my passcode. We're back to create account. Okay, just a few steps away from where it crashed before. Okay, this looks good. We can use this. So, let's say use this. Processing. You know, I get in trouble all the time with the banks because they do not like my signature. I have very poor handwriting and my signature is variable it changes and you think we're in the 21st century you'd think that we would have a better way of identifying yes i consent to things you know rather than just signatures okay we're all set you have an account yay enjoy all features while we review your documents your account may be limited if we need you to resubmit information documents i understand well, that was pretty painless, to be honest. <laughs> Just one crash, um, pretty straightforward documents and taking pictures and things like that. Any youngish kid or, you know, around my age will have no problem with it. And this is one feature I really like about the ING bank account is it's guaranteed 2.5% interest. If you're not a business person or if you're not following the interest rates, 2.5 interest rate per annum for a bank account is pretty good. Most interest rates for regular savings accounts are like 0.25, 0.5%. So 2.5% is actually, you know, quite high. Deposit to my account. At the moment, there seems to be only one way to deposit money or funds into your ING account, and that's through check. I'm going to wait a couple of days to see if, you know, they ask me for more documents and things like that. And I will also try to deposit money into it and see how that works. But contrary to some of the reviews that you find on the Android store, the setup process was actually pretty painless from the facial recognition where you just need to nod and open your mouth and things like that. Yeah, not too bad, just one crash. Okay, searching for check. Mm 
if you can see it on camera. Alright, so it automatically scanned the check number, which is impressive, and the account from where the check is coming from, and the issuing bank. The issuing bank is not a manual, you know, you don't type it in manually, you have to select from a drop down. So my checks from BPI, I will click next. So there's a summary, oh sorry, we're not done yet. You have to put in the amount of the check, the date on the check, and description. Description, what does that mean? Why would you need to describe the check? It's like your notes. So like, I guess, initial deposit. Initial deposit and confirm. So after having gone through the entire application process and trying to deposit a check, we basically just ran across two problems. The first was the actual check deposit. When I tried to deposit the check, it initially accepted it, but then a couple of hours later, it told me that the check had been rejected. So actually, it got to the point where the amount was credited already into my account, but then the transaction was reversed, and so the money was debited again. The solution was straightforward, but a bit annoying. You basically just need to redeposit the check. But the second time around, the deposit worked and the money is now in my ING account. So you might come across minor problems like that where you'll need to redo something again. The second problem I had, which was a bit more serious, was that my account could not get verified. A couple of days of waiting, I got a message saying that there was a problem because my I had not put in my full name when I registered the account which is weird because I did put my full name. So I was at a loss of what to do. My full name was there and yet the message from ING insisted that I did not use my full name when I signed up. So I used their in-chat service and actually this was impressive because this was around 6.30 p.m. on a weekday. So traditional banks would not have hours at that time but the chat was open and I was able to get someone pretty much right away, maybe like after a five minute wait. And the customer service was very prompt and they immediately told me what the problem was. My ID, which I uploaded, which was my driver's license, did not have my full middle name. It just had my middle initial. And again, that's a little bit annoying because the driver's license is one of the IDs which ING specifically says is okay to upload and we Filipinos we usually have long names. I mean, I have um, my first name consists of two names and then I have my middle name. I mean, it's not an uncommon situation where you would just have the middle initial on the driver's license. The CS person told me to upload my passport, which I did right away. And impressively enough, I uploaded the passport and 15 minutes later, the same CS person who had taken my initial inquiry and told me to upload the passport, messaged me again and told me that my account was fine, it was verified, and that it was all good to go. You might need to redo things several times, but overall, it was pretty painless. And when you do encounter pain, they have customer service in place. They are very easy to reach that can assist you and walk you through your problem and what you can do to solve it right away. I have not yet tried transferring money out of the account and that's something where I guess ING can improve because the only option right now is to transfer it to another account. Like there's no way to get the cash right away. You need to transfer it to another account in another bank and they do have a limit of 150,000 pesos per day transferring out to banks that are not ING. You can transfer, there's no limit to a transfer to another ING account. But if you're trying to get your money out, you will need to transfer it to another bank which can actually give you cash. So for the high rollers out there, just be aware of the 150,000 peso limit. Thanks for watching. See you next time.